you're watching the Rusty Matt's channel. Welcome back. In this video, I am going to be the owner of a pizza company. Believe it or not, I make pizza and then I have these guys that I hire to then deliver the pizza to, for all my online and telephone orders. Now, what I've been doing though is tracking to see how long these guys are taking to deliver the pizza to my customers. Here's what I found out. Rather than give you all the raw data and you're looking at a whole bunch of numbers, I've decided to put it neatly into a table. But just so you know how I got these numbers, it was a situation where like 40, um, 40 deliveries happened between zero and five minutes. That was really cool. And then I had another 64 deliveries that happened between five and 10 minutes and another 89 deliveries that happen between 10 and 15 minutes. You get the idea. So I've put this in a nice lovely looking table here and then now we're going to calculate some averages because we can then use that to do some promotions. So let's jump straight into it. Now this is called grouped data and that's because you've taken all the raw data, you put them into groups and then you say how many of them you saw there. I have got other videos on finding averages from frequency tables, which is just a tinge bit different. You can see that in the description down below or in the pop-out banner coming up at the top of the screen. But anyway, let's deal with this group data situation. So the first bit of average I want to find out is the mean. Now, how do you calculate the mean when the data looks like this? Now, this mean is going to be called an estimate. So we're going to estimate the mean. And the formula is still the same from when we calculated the mean from our frequency table. The formula is still going to be the sum of fx divided by the sum of f. But where do I find all of that data? Well, you can see here the number of times that pizza was delivered um, for these given times given here. So you can see 40 times I had um, a delivery of zero to five minutes, 64 times and so on. So we've gone through all of that already. Now what I need now is the sum of all this data, the sum of f. So in other words, add up all of these numbers and this squiggly e means sum so every time you see it in statistics you know it means sum it means to add up well when you add that up that becomes 327 now the next thing is why do we call it an estimate well the reason why we call it an estimate is because we don't know how the data has been spread out here so for example from zero to five minutes i could have like i don't know 30 times that somebody took two minutes to get there and then a, probably another two times they took four minutes and probably another one time they took a minute and so on but it adds up to 40. so because we don't know how the data has been spread out this is only going to always be an estimate. So in order to find our X now, X needs to be the midpoint of our intervals. These are our intervals here. So we need the middle of all of those intervals. The middle of zero and five is 2.5. The middle of five and 10 is 7.5. The middle of 10 and 15 is going to be 12.5 we got 17.5 here 22.5 there and 27.5 here now let's just say you couldn't work it out so easily because you couldn't tell there's a very quick and easy way of doing it and it's simply add the two numbers up in the interval and then divide by two so five plus ten is fifteen half of fifteen is seven point five so if you didn't know how to do it that's a nice quick way of getting it sorted let's get back to our table now we need to find fx and fx if you remember from that earlier video is the frequency times the x value so f times x so 40 times 2.5, that's going to be 100. Um, you know what? You know what I'm doing here. So I'm just going to fill out the rest of the table. 
Okie dokie. So you, I've got all my numbers in here. Just by multiplying the frequency and the x, it gives me these answers on the end here. So 89 times 12.5 gives me that um, 11, 12.5 and so on. So now we need to find the sum of fx because we need it for up there. So we're going to go the sum of fx now and we're going to add all of these numbers up. That's going to give us 4 1387.5 and now we've got that we can say therefore the mean or the estimated mean is going to be equal to 4387 and a half divided by 327 which tells us that our answer is about 13.4 minutes how is this information important to me? Well, it's telling me that based on my data that I've collected from all of those deliveries, that the average time that it's taking for me to, to give those, to get those deliveries into the hands of my customers is about 13.4 minutes. You might be thinking at this point, ah, I could be tempted to do a promotion to increase sales and the promotion I can do would be um, telling my customers that if the delivery isn't at your house in 15 minutes then you can have it for free when it does arrive. Well, uh, let's think about that. Uh, let me do some more maths and then I'll decide if that's something I want to do. I'm coming back to that. now. The other way that we need to work out an average could be to find a median, because the median would be a great way, right? To tell me exactly like, um, you know, uh, what my average is, rather than just use the mean all the time, because we learned from previous videos that extreme values affect the mean. Let's go find the median, but we're not gonna find the median itself. We're gonna find where the median lies, or in other words, the median class. Well, the median means middle. And you can see that the total number of data points I've got is 327. So the median is going to be halfway of 327. So divide that by two. I'll round that to the nearest whole number. This is going to be about 193 if you round it to the nearest whole number. And now to find out where my median class is, in which section will I find my median? Well, let's go down here, that's 40. And then if I add 64 to that, that's 104. But if I then add 89 to that, I will go past 193. So it tells me that my median is in, is in there. So my median class is between 10, and 15 minutes. So that confirms then that my mean is about right, that, um, that the average delivery time is about 13.4 minutes because that falls between 10 and 15 minutes. All right, now let me ask you, you own my pizza shop or you managing my pizza shop, will you say to customers, that well actually if it doesn't arrive in 15 minutes you get it for free let's see how much money we'll end up losing if we ran with that idea so my marketing department's looking at this and they need to make some decisions well how many or what percentage of my deliveries are arriving after 15 minutes so i can see up to this point here these deliveries are arriving before 15 minutes, but these ones are arriving after 15 minutes. So I'm going to call this my percentage loss. So how much, what percentage of my money I'm going to end up losing just giving away free pizza? Well, for that, I need to add up what I've got here. And that adds up to 134 divided by the total number of um, deliveries that we made and then times by 100. Well, to the nearest whole number, that works out to 41%. Now, realistically, am I, are you trying to tell me I'm going to be giving away 40% of my pizza for free? No, sir. So I'm going to have to have a chat with my team and say to them, 
we're not going to do that deal where we give away the pizza for free if it doesn't arrive in 50 minutes. 15 minutes, sorry. I'd probably push that a bit and say, if you don't get it by 25 minutes, then you get it for free. And that way I minimize my loss because I can see here that only 18 of them, and this is the lowest number on the board anywhere, anyway. So you can see that by 25 minutes, most of my pizzas have been delivered and a very small amount is not there. So I might run a promotion now and say, actually, these guys are doing some really good work for me. They're delivering those pizzas under 25 minutes. So I'm going to do this promotion where I'm going to say, wait for it. If you don't get your pizza in 25 minutes, your pizza is going to be free. Imagine how that's going to drum up sales, but then obviously I'm going to have to start thinking about if I have more demand for pizzas, then the drivers are going to be run off their feet. I might need to hire some more people. Anyway, we will, when we get to that bridge, we are going to cross it. Anyway, guys, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Smash that like button if you did. Don't forget to subscribe below if you have not done so as yet. And I will see you on the next video. Peace.